Every second, Mars receives enough radiation to kill a human being in a matter of days. And yet, we dream of living there. At first, you're going to have to live in transparent domes, but eventually... Yes, yeah, can... so we're going to be huffing each other's stank. Yeah, uh, but, but eventually you can transform Mars into an Earth-like planet. Since antiquity, the Red Planet has captured our imagination. From Percival Lowell's Martian canals to Ray Bradbury's stories, Mars has always been our next logical step. But what if I told you that our obsession with colonizing Mars could be the biggest obstacle to advancing space exploration? Prepare to question everything you thought you knew about our cosmic neighbor. Visionaries like Elon Musk paint a future where millions of humans live in dome cities on Mars. Musk states, I want to die on Mars, just not on impact. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are investing billions in this dream. They promise regular trips to Mars by 2050. Advocates argue that colonizing Mars, one, would make us a multi-planetary species, ensuring our survival in case of global catastrophe. Two, would boost technological innovations in areas such as renewable energy and recycling. Three, would unite humanity in a common goal, transcending national borders. Moreover, they argue that Mars would inspire the next generation of scientists and explorers. But the reality of Mars is very different from the dreams we project onto it. Let's examine the almost insurmountable obstacles we would face. Mars's atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide, with only 0.13% oxygen. For comparison, Earth has 21% oxygen. Breathing on Mars without equipment would be impossible. Even with spacesuits, the risk of leaks and failures is constant. A single error could be fatal in seconds. Without a protective magnetic field, Mars's surface is bombarded by cosmic and solar radiation. A colonist on Mars would receive a radiation dose 50 times greater than on Earth. This exposure would drastically increase the risk of cancer, brain damage, and other degenerative diseases. Temperatures on Mars can vary from 20 degrees Celsius to minus 140 degrees Celsius in a matter of hours. This puts enormous stress on equipment and structures. Maintaining a habitable temperature would require enormous amounts of energy, making any colony extremely vulnerable to system failures. It's estimated that a manned mission to Mars would cost over $500 billion. To contextualize, that's more than the GDP of many countries. This money could solve urgent problems on Earth, such as hunger, diseases, and climate change. Each trip to Mars would take at least six months, exposing astronauts to immense risks such as cosmic radiation and psychological problems from prolonged confinement. Moreover, each kilogram sent to Mars 
costs tens of thousands of dollars, making supplying the colony a monumental logistical and financial challenge. Maintaining a colony on Mars would require a constant flow of supplies from Earth. Any interruption in this flow, whether due to technical problems or conflicts on Earth, could be catastrophic. Self-sufficiency on Mars is a distant dream. Every aspect of life, from the air we breathe to the food we eat, would depend on complex and fragile artificial systems. Mars's gravity is only 38% of Earth's. Studies with astronauts show that low gravity causes severe bone and muscle loss, as well as heart and vision problems. Even with intense exercise and medication, the long-term effects of low gravity are unknown and potentially irreversible. Transforming Mars into a habitable planet, if possible, would take thousands of years. We would need to increase atmospheric pressure, create a magnetic field, and introduce liquid water on a large scale. The resources needed for such an undertaking are astronomical and could be better used to preserve and improve conditions on Earth. Robots and probes can explore Mars more safely and economically. The Perseverance rover, for example, costs a fraction of a manned mission and can operate for years without risks to human life. Advances in AI and robotics mean that machines can conduct increasingly sophisticated research, providing valuable data without the risks and costs associated with human presence. The trillions that would be spent on colonization could solve urgent problems on Earth. Imagine the impact of investing that amount in. 1. Clean energy technologies to combat climate change. 2. Medical research to cure diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. 3. Infrastructure to provide clean water and education for billions. Moreover, the technologies developed for these terrestrial challenges could, ironically, make future space exploration more viable and sustainable. The true frontier is not Mars, but our ability to care for the only planet we know is capable of sustaining us, Earth. Perhaps the greatest benefit of dreaming about Mars is making us appreciate our own blue planet more. Instead of fleeing to a hostile planet, we should focus our creativity, resources, and hope on preserving and improving our cosmic home. After all, if we can't solve our problems here, what chance would we have on Mars? The debate about Mars colonization is far from over, and your opinion is crucial in this discussion. As citizens of a world increasingly focused on space exploration, it is our duty to be well informed and actively participate in these conversations that will shape the future of humanity. If you want to continue exploring fascinating topics that challenge our perceptions about science, technology, and the future of humanity, Subscribe to the channel now. By subscribing, you will not only receive notifications about new videos, but also become part of a community engaged in critical discussions about our future. And don't stop here. Leave your opinion in the comments. Do you think we should focus on Mars or invest more on Earth? Your perspective can influence our next topics and contribute to a richer and more diverse dialogue.
Together, we can explore the most important questions of our time. Subscribe now and be part of this journey of discovery and debate.